Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 7th. But we all know that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. So let's just see what comes up. I've started the weeklies for next week, so you can find those on a playlist. The rest of them will be done tomorrow or tonight. Um, if you'd like to book a reading with me, the link is in the description box of this video um, to my website or to my booking site to book. What do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Three of Swords Reverse. And Three of Swords Reverse is forgiveness. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. On the path to recovery. Somebody's on the path to recovery. Um... They've been suffering. They've suffered. They've already been hurt, heartbroken. But this is on the path to recovery. Knight of Wands. We've had the Knight of Wands quite a bit. This is act now, think later, taking action. We have somebody here that is moving very fast. Moving very, very fast. They're taking action. You know? They may want forgiveness. The Three of Swords can, in reverse can be forgiveness. They've been, somebody's been suffering. They may be moving very fast in a new direction to leave the past hurts behind. Ooh. Now we have somebody here that is, is courageous, very, very brave. We have a brave individual here who is taking control, who is controlling their emotions. We have somebody here that is not letting fear hold them back. They're not letting previous pain hold them back. This is somebody that is very passionate, that has a desire. So somebody is desiring uh, forgiveness by the looks of things. Or, or maybe they just forgive themselves. This could be self-forgiveness. Three of Swords, revert. Three of Swords is, is a separation, it's a loss, it's pain, it's grieving. This is coming out of it. It is coming out of it. It's a, it's a new drive, it's a new ambition. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that is taking a risk as well. I feel like this is risky. Somebody is, is going to be uh, finding their uh, courage to do something, you know, um, after they've been hurt really, really, really bad. You know, so somebody's obviously been hurt because you're the Three of Swords, but this is a risky situation where somebody is, you know, strong. We have a very strong individual that is finding their, their courage. So, yeah. Ooh, moving on from a bad choice. And this is lack of forgiveness. Somebody's something about forgiveness here. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. They may have this new vision. Uh, judgment reversed is moving on from a bad choice, a need to move on from a bad choice. This is misjudged. Somebody may have misjudged a situation. They made a poor judgment call. They were not aware. They were not awakened. Uh, and they may have received some karma. Somebody may have, re and it's not good karma. Karma will certainly wake somebody up. So somebody may have gotten in a rude awakening of some sort. Now they're taking action. Um, now, judgment reversed is a poor judgment call. Somebody has made a poor judgment call. They may be making one now, you know, but this is moving on from a bad choice. I feel like um, there's been lack of forgiveness here, but this is a new vision acting right now after there has been no forgiveness. I feel like we have somebody that is really uh, taking control of their emotions. <laughs> Justice. Karma has hit somebody. Somebody has received karma. Or they've received some consequences because I put that in my past position. So somebody, and this is definitely karma. So somebody has received some sort of karma and that is, has, has uh, made them realize something that they didn't were not aware of before and it has to do with their actions because this is about actions. Somebody is, is becoming more aware of their actions. Some sort of truth or karma or consequences, you know, have played out. Somebody has hurt another person 
obviously with the three of swords and now they're realizing they're real i feel like they're realizing what they did um justice is a card of integrity it's about doing the right thing being honest and upfront i do believe that somebody has been served some sort of karma for their uh poor choice their poor decision their uh lack of judgment um somebody made a poor judgment call um because they weren't awakened. They just simply weren't awakened. Maybe they didn't believe in karma. They may not have believed in karma. Anyhow, judgment reversed is uh, a lack of knowledge. So somebody just... And, and, and above the law, somebody may have felt like they were never going to get karma. Or that they're above the law. You know, that they were never going to be judged. But karma never loses an address. So I do believe somebody's been hurt badly by, a, by another person. And that is how karma works. And now this has given somebody a new drive, a new ambition, a new desire to leave the past hurts behind, to go down a new path and perhaps uh, find the courage to do so. So that is a very, it's a very courageous energy, brave, strong, confident. We have somebody here that is, is, is finding their confidence. Uh, they're letting go of fear, definitely letting go of fear. It looks like they're they're ready to be judged, or they're yeah they're ready to be judged. They may be they may be ready to tell the truth or to own up to the truth after there's been some lies. There's obviously been some lies, some dishonesty here, um, and that's why karma has been served. Somebody definitely hurt another person, extremely hurt another person. It's because they just weren't awake and they just didn't they weren't aware that uh, you know they just didn't they didn't do the right thing. Somebody didn't do the right thing. Ooh, Ace of Cups reversed. So emotions, drowning in emotions. We have somebody here that is drowning in emotions. They may be crying. They're they're uh, having they've been having a hard time. They've been having a very hard time, but now this is a mastering emotions, but this is a very extremely emotional ending of some sort. So, because that's an ending, even though it's reversed, somebody has been reluctant to accept an ending because that's an upright, it's acceptance of something, but in reverse, it's reluctant to accept. So somebody, accepting the truth, somebody has been reluctant to accept the truth and they've been drowning in their emotions. Um, and they haven't been very happy. They haven't been happy. They haven't um, been emotionally fulfilled. They may have made a poor choice um, in regards to love. You know, they didn't follow their heart. Somebody didn't follow their heart. Ten of Wands or Nine of Wands. I don't know why I said, I said that a lot with this card in this deck. Nine of Wands reverse. Now this is um, somebody that has a lot of pride that doesn't like to lose. We have somebody here that doesn't like to lose. And I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be swallowing their pride. This is somebody who genuinely... Uh, or generally, I do that a lot too, fights. This person is a fighter. They're a warrior. They don't like to give up. But I feel like, uh, I, I feel like we have somebody that is very egotistical. I do. This is somebody that's egotistical that, you know, uh, likes to be in control. Somebody really, really likes to be in control. And I feel like they're about to give up their, you know, Well, this is giving up something, giving up control, giving up control, taking a risk. Somebody's going to be finding their courage. To take action right now after they have been unaware. This is somebody that is experiencing some challenges right now. And they're overwhelmed. We have somebody here that is extremely overwhelmed. They're feeling defeated. Somebody is feeling defeated. Karma has served them. They have been served with some sort of, of karma. Karma. 
now this person is taking action because they, they've obviously been distraught. I feel like we have somebody here that has been distraught over, you know, the poor, poor choice that they made. Now they're finding the courage to take action. They've been on a high horse. This is somebody who has been sitting on a high horse and they've been highly competitive, you know, and they've wanted to be competitive, but now it's like time to give up the competition, you know. Hmm. And be honest. Somebody needs to be honest. I feel like that's what they're doing. Somebody is really feeling. They're in their feelings. They are absolutely in their feelings. Ooh, star. Star is a card of wish fulfillment. A blessing. Somebody is about, they, is wishing for something. They're wishing for, or they're hoping, they're hoping, they're hoping. I think they're hoping for forgiveness. I really feel like forgiveness is, there. somebody's hoping for forgiveness. And there is a chance. There is still a chance for forgiveness. Now, this star card is a card of guaranteed success. It's about, and we could have somebody here that is, uh, has become enlightened by the looks of things. Anyhow, let me just make sure this is zoomed. I feel like somebody's had a tower moment. They've had some sort of huge, uh, dismantling of a foundation they've had a uh, an event that has woken them up okay it has woken them up and now they they are wishing they are wishing for forgiveness <laughs> you know I just want to keep saying that somebody is wishing and hoping for a renewal they're hoping uh, you know, they're going to give up, they're going to give up their stance, you know, and they're hoping, I feel like we have somebody here that's taking action right now, and they're hoping for forgiveness, and they're, I feel like they're going to ask for forgiveness, you know. Um, taking action towards wish fulfillment as well. Somebody is going after wish fulfillment and it's not and it's and it's like having no fear where they've been very extremely emotional, drowning in their emotions. Now they just gotta do it. It's like I'm gonna take this risk, I'm gonna I'm gonna find my courage. This is somebody that is, you know, going to be brave. They're gonna face their fears. This is somebody that is letting go of fear and they're going after wish fulfillment after there's been some sort of strong competition. I feel like this is giving up the competition. It's being honest because of because of karma. So there's been some sort of karma that has been served that has woken somebody up. Moving on from a bad choice very very quickly towards wish fulfillment. Somebody's wish is going to be granted because they take action to leave the past hurts behind. That's what the Three of Swords is. That's on the path to recovery. That's healing. That's healing. So we have some sort of, and this is healing as well. So we have some sort of healing going on here. And this one is healing as well. So we have healing. Somebody is healing from a situation or they may want to heal something you know they're going to be taking action to heal something to to bring balance back remember we talked about balance yesterday this is somebody that is highly competitive and it's going to take a lot of willpower and discipline and courage and confidence and letting go of ego because strength is a card of ego and this one is too somebody's going to have to let go of their ego to get let go after wish fulfillment and i feel like that is exactly what is happening here now the star card is a card of of you know beauty 
purpose, protection. It's also, I mean, a star is a star. We could have somebody here that is famous. This is somebody that is a star that is getting wish fulfillment. Somebody is going after wish fulfillment, whoever it is. Mm. Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is extreme haunted. Somebody's haunted, and they're worried. And they it's under the eight, it's on top of the Ace of Cups reversed. Somebody has definitely been scared. They've been scared. They've been worried. They've been depressed. They've been having regrets. They've been haunted, and they've been in their emotions. They've been dreaming a lot about something from the past because this is the past. They have, they made a poor judgment call in the past and it's like the past is haunting them. It's like that song haunted. Um, now it's time to take action to heal. So I do feel like it, it is definitely moving very, very fast towards uh, healing something that has been Causing somebody a lot of sleepless nights, put it that way. Somebody has been having nightmares or bad dreams or weird, weird, weird dreams about somebody from their past. That's a message that you need to hear. You need to heal the connection with that person. It's about doing the right thing, acting with integrity, being honest and upfront. Karma never loses an address. The justice card is a card of karma. It's a card of a law. Okay? And we have it twice. So, I mean, judgment is karma as well. So we have some sort of karma that has been served that is, you know, I feel like, I feel like uh, we have somebody here that is very worried. They're worried about rejection, you know? But if you act with integrity and do the right thing, what's the worst that could happen? At least you could clear your karma. Anyhow, I feel like we have we have somebody that is taking action because they've been haunted and it's time. Good luck.